Welcome to the Davidson Football Coaches Show presented by J.J. Wade and Associates. I'm Mark Clemens. Coach Paul Nichols has joined us. And Coach Wild, exciting time. Football is coming here Saturday night. Well, it is exciting, Mark. You're exactly right. And, uh, you know, it's, it's crazy because uh, the NFL preseason always kicks us off. And that's exciting to see 11 guys versus 11 guys from real life football. And uh, then you get the high school season starts. It seems like it starts earlier and earlier every year. And uh, then the next thing up is... Uh, we get to play Division One college football, and uh, we've been working a long time to get to this point, uh, dating back to January 16th of 2017, and that's winter workouts, that's spring practice, that's summer workouts, and obviously we just closed uh, preseason training camp, and so there's a lot that goes into this just to get our football team prepared for what's going to happen on Saturday night. Coach, you got a lot of guys you got to mesh together, and I think a bunch of freshmen. Well, we do. We've got uh, 35 freshmen, and uh, we've got uh, the most guys in our football program that we've had around here in a long time, and that's good. Uh, it creates natural competition. It creates natural depth. Uh, but most importantly, you have to be able to sort of balance those, not only different personalities, different socioeconomic, different racial backgrounds, religious backgrounds, and geographic backgrounds. We've got guys from 13 different states, Mark, and, and, and that really in and of itself is, is a dynamic that, uh, you know, you don't really find necessarily on high school teams or on some other college teams because their ge geographic, uh, you know, their geographic background is, is very central and, and obviously in high school it's just your neighborhood kids. Um, so that, that dynamic for us is something that, that we take very seriously and we try to make sure we work on and, and get the guy from Idaho to get to know the guy from Florida and get the guy from Texas to know the guy from New York because those guys don't grow up just knowing about each other. And there are, there are distinct differences about those regions. Well, there's, there's totally distinct differences, not only about the region, but also about the level of football that's played in those regions and the level of expertise positionally, as well as how old are you? You know, there's develop, this is a developmental game. And it's really important that we spend time understanding that as a coaching staff and being able to cater to each guy at their level. Now, with all that off-season and preseason camp, you get into a game week. Talk a little bit about that routine. Well, the, the game week is routine after this week. Okay. And here's why, because when we hit Sunday of game week next week, we'll be coming off a game. And so we'll start reviewing the video from the day before and start preparing for the next opponent. This season opener is really unique. Uh, you never really totally know what's going to happen in season openers because things are new. People work on different things in the offseason. This is totally different because they have a new coaching staff that comes from all over the place, extensive NFL background, which always gives you cause for concern because their schemes are going to be really, really first class, as well as the addition of 50 new players into their football program. Wow, now that's and, a lot. And, and these guys are really, really talented and we have high expectations for the level of athleticism, the type of coaching they're gonna receive. It's gonna be a huge challenge. And on top of that, we really don't know what to expect, Mark, offensively, defensively, and kicking game. And that's, uh, that's keeping me up at night. Coach, uh, what's the keys to the games this week for the Wildcats? Well, the, the number one key is just to, to really control what we can control, Mark. You know, obviously there's a lot of unknowns about what we're gonna see on Saturday evening. But the most important thing we can do is just control what we can control. We've been working uh, very, very hard for a long time at this spring practice, summer workouts, and, and training camp, obviously. And uh, we really think if we execute our schemes offensively, defensively, and, and kicking game, that we're going to be just fine. And most importantly, uh, we've got to make sure that we play with great attitude and effort and take care of the football on offense and try to take it away on defense. And if we do those things, then we're going to be just fine on Saturday night. Coach, you got some strong leadership on this team. Talk a little bit about that for us. Well, this is a, a group of seniors that's 20 strong. This is as big a senior class as we've had, uh, at least since I've been here. Uh, additionally, we've got uh, a sophomore captain, which is the first time that I've ever been around a sophomore captain in Stockton McGuire. Our two senior captains are Ben Rowell and John Shepard Smith. And they're as fine a three, senior, uh, three captains as we've had. Uh, they've done a nice job with the leadership Obviously, they were elected by their peers, and that speaks volumes about them. Um, and so I think the leadership, the maturity, the growth of this program um, is, is, is really been good, particularly this training camp. We integrated 35 freshmen into our program. Uh, 
they seem to be a mature group who's eager to learn. Um, and that's something that needs to consistently um, be there. Uh, we've instituted additionally a Big Brother program, which is where we match up a veteran with, an under, with a freshman, uh, and really just sort of a mentor uh, to bounce questions off of anything from where do I go get something to eat to uh, help me with my uh, economics uh, homework. And so those things, from a leadership standpoint, are really, really essential to our program. And those are the things I see our players really taking the lead on. Coach, opening night, 7 o'clock kickoff here under the lights. So it should be exciting. Well, there's no place I'd rather be, Mark, and uh, there's nobody that I'd rather be with than these 100 guys, our coaching staff, our support staff, and, and certainly all the fans that will come out to watch. Uh, it's, uh, it's an exciting time, this Division I college football. Most importantly, at Davidson College, it's special. And we're looking forward to a great 2017, but most importantly, we're looking to a great Saturday night at 7 o'clock. Wildcats will be hosting the Blue Tornadoes from Brevard. It's a 7 o'clock kickoff here at Stephen B. Smith Field Richardson Stadium. If you want to be here, get all the details, DavidsonWildcats.com. This has been the Davidson Football Coaches Show presented by J.J. Wade & Associates. <laughs> <laughs>